Video number four for Delphi Tiburon Unicode. Uh, this is a series of videos that I'm uh, creating. And uh, in case you didn't know me, I'm Marco Cantu. I'm the author of several uh, Delphi books. And I'm actually writing a new book on Tiburon. Um, okay, what's in the new video? Uh, this time I'm going to use um, to create an application that can use Unicode uh, when working with the uh, Windows API. Uh, to make this application slightly more interesting, what I've done is to actually uh, have pasted uh, some uh, non-Latin Latin characters into uh, Delphi itself, into the IDE itself, and then we'll see what happens. Now, the difference is that in the past, if you had a call to the message box API, the call would be directed to message box A. And as we can easily see, when we run uh, message box A, the output is some total nonsense. While if we run the wide version of message box, we get the proper uh, output. Um, now, let me get back to the source code and change it to say message box uh, and run it again. So, if you had an existing call message box, this will be automatically upgraded to the Unicode version because at the definition level, the message box API. Um, is actually mapped to message box V, W, the wide version of the message box API. Um, so that's it. Another nice thing is you can actually even use Unicode for the variable names. Uh, not, so, not something I'm really suggesting, but this is technically possible. So we can display this information. The other relevant thing is if you have a string and need to do a cast, uh, I've used wide string here only for backward compatibility, but I could as well type string now in Tiburon. And if you want to make a cast, you're going to have a, you needed to replace this with a P wide car, but now the predefined P car and, and commonly used P car symbol is actually a pointer to a white car. So look at this code again. We had simply a string and doing a P car cast to it. And let's see if it works. And if we can get the proper Unicode output, yes, we get it. And the last example is just slightly different UI text out. We are displaying inside the window some Unicode text. And the source code here is, again, assign to a string, to a white string, and do a PW car, because this code used to work in Delphi 7 as well, in Delphi 2007 as well. But now we can actually move this code to something straightforward. And again, remove the white version, because that the default. So this is the same code you'd use in old version of Delphi, but now if we compile and run the application, wow, well, we get the proper text out. So the as the Windows API is heavily based on Unicode, having a Delphi based on Unicode makes our life very easy. And the integration provided by Delphi in Tiburon is really very, very nice. OK, that's for all for this new video. In the next one, I'm going to show you speed difference, comparing different versions of Delphi um, with or without Unicode when doing uh, Windows API calls. Bye.